Hey everyone, how you doing? Captain Leon from Captain Leon's Boating and more, and I am on my way to work. That's right, I have a real job during the day. I'm just a YouTube captain at night. Yeah, pretty exciting. Before we get to work, we are actually stopping at our local tire store, and the reason is we are upgrading our boat tires today. That's right, new boat trailer tires and new wheels. All good. Now, what led me to do this? Why am I doing this now? What can I do to improve upon my OEM factory boat trailer tires? What you need to look out for? All of these questions I'm gonna answer for you in this very quick, short video. I think you're gonna like it, so hang on. Okay, so here we go as we're approaching the tire store, but before we get there, let's roll back the clock and let's discuss what you need to be aware of and what I discovered and how this project got underway. All right, so if you are watching this video, I am going to assume you own some sort of trailer with trailer tires, whether it's a boat or otherwise. And the purpose of this video is just to get you to pay attention, right? You might have trouble lurking that you are unaware of. Your trailer tires might feel great, right? They're rolling down the road, everything feels normal, no problem. Well, upon closer inspection, you might notice that there's some cracking in the sidewall of the tire. And if it's cracking there, you know, it's drying out all over the place. You got a significant crack in a sidewall. Think about that at 60 miles per hour, building up heat, right? That could be a blowout. No bueno. So when do we change trailer tires? Well, research tells us it should be at around three to five years of use. It's not gonna be when you don't have any tread left, right? We don't do that many miles, but the ultraviolet radiation will take its toll over this period of time. So I went to take a look at the data manufacturer on my tires. You could find it stamped somewhere on yours. It's gonna give you the week and the year of manufacturer. Uh, and mine was 41st week of 2013. What is that? Is that Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. At the point of this video, that makes my tires almost seven, eight years old. No bueno. They are in fact expired, expired expired okay the first step on the road to new tires is take a look at your trailer look at the plate on your trailer it'll tell you the size of the tires that you need i cross reference that with the tires that were on my trailer and in fact i had the right tires all along uh what does these numbers and letters mean when we look at our tires and this is a great lesson for all uh st 18580 d13 so st is special trailer that means that these tires are designed to handle the heavy loads associated with uh you know trailers and and the weight that they carry all right 185 that is the width of the tire left to right so that's in centimeters 185 centimeters and 80 represents the height of the tire from the wheel to the road so that in fact means it's 80 percent of the width so 185 is the width 80 percent of that is the height of these tires okay the d means diagonal ply that means that this is a bias ply tire and we're going to discuss that in a moment and then 13 is the wheel size let me all I'll also just mention to you that these tires were load range d okay that's very important because if you go to buy new tires make sure that you get the correct load range for your application. Uh, the different letters designate how much weight that tire can carry. All right, I know I need tires, I know the size, but am I gonna go with radials or bias ply? Well, I decided to go with radial tires, right? They, the trailer came with OEM bias ply tires, and I'm pretty sure that if you take a look at your trailer tires, you'll see that they are bias ply as well. Uh, but radials are considered to be somewhat of an upgrade. And why uh, makes them better, or what makes them better, I should say? Well, they're supposed to provide a smoother, quieter ride. Uh, they're supposed to run cooler, uh, maybe perhaps be more resistant to punctures, better fuel economy. 
Uh, so look, if you're somebody that just trailers right down the road to your ramp, you're not going to notice a difference. But if you take that boat and that trailer out on the open road and you do you do some mileage, right? You probably, hey, you're going to want radial tires. Uh, so that's what I decided to go with. You can Google it yourself. There's just a, a, an amazing um, you know, array of websites that uh, make the comparisons back and forth. Uh, so here we go. Here are my new radial tires. Okay, so we are now ready to remove this tire. We all know in order to do that, we gotta take off the lug nuts. We have our gun here and we're ready to do that. Uh, I just wanna demonstrate a very efficient and quick means of being able to accomplish this task. It's a little different. Uh, and if you, you know, you're impressed by it, then you know, by all means you can use it. Just uh, remember, you got it here first. So here's what we do. We just basically begin with uh, a towel and you have to kind of just lay the towel just over it at first and just get it you know positioned just right you may have to like just jiggle it a little bit back and forth you know however you got to do it just get the towel positioned just exactly where you need it and then when you're ready just give it a firm pull and you're good right now you got your new tire in place you know it saves you the hassle of having to use your gun uh, you know, you're in, a, you're in a good position now. So, you know, you just want to torque it down just right. Uh, you know, these new aluminum wheels that I got, I just want to be real careful with, particularly with a, a gun that I'm not going to mark it up. But, uh, you know, you do what you must. But wow, what an improvement, right? So now we have some beautiful aluminum wheels and uh, we'll see if they last in a salt water environment. Taking a little chance there because most often with a uh, galvanized trailer, right? You always have galvanized wheels. So we'll see what happens. They weren't terribly expensive. And uh, here we are, brand new tires and wheels. Uh, real, real happy with the look. Going soft may not be what you want, but let me tell you, these things bounce up and down when you get in and out of the boat. Let me show you. get these babies out on the open road and see how they do. road test complete and I like them they ride nice and smooth and hopefully this video will make you say change my tires all right Captain Leon signing off and now I need your help please hit that like button subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss another video if you like this content